New tonight, a supervisor at Medina Valley Independent School District accused of sexually harassing a woman who worked for him. The woman says district officials failed to respond properly after turning him in and simply moved him to another position. She sat down with the night team's Dylan Collier to speak publicly about what happened to her. It's tonight's Defenders report. <laughs> This large sign outside the Medina Valley Facilities Building lets passersby know that the district is looking for housekeepers. It's an ironic place to put the advertisement when you consider who works inside. Meet Christopher Prater, who until this spring served as MVISD's housekeeping supervisor. Uh, he starts out with side hugs and you know, he's always touchy-feely. In March, housekeeper Linda Puckett came forward to district officials, claiming that when left alone with Prater at campuses she was cleaning, his unwanted hugs and back rubs intensified. And eventually it escalated into him kissing me on my forehead every time he saw me. Kisses, sometimes as often as three times a day. Puckett, according to district records, told their director of operations on March 15th, quote, I just don't want the man's hands on me. I don't want the man's lips on me. She said she feared coming forward for weeks because Prater has a history of retaliation and had withheld supplies Puckett needed after previously getting mad at her. Two weeks later, in late March, officials reprimanded Prater, in part because his touching of Puckett had violated the district's COVID-19 protocols. Records show Prater was also reassigned from his supervisor role back to journeyman electrician, a position he had with the district years earlier. MVISD officials refused repeated requests from the defenders to make Superintendent Dr. Kenneth Rohrbach available for an interview for this story, telling us in a brief statement the matter has been resolved after consulting with the persons involved. But that isn't even close to accurate, according to Puckett. To my husband and I, it seemed like they were just going to brush the behavior under the rug, which ultimately we found out they did. The veteran employee resigned after discussing with her husband her treatment at work. You said that you feel like the district put her in a dangerous work environment. What, what makes you say that? Well, because this has been going on for years, kind of find out. A second former housekeeper told the defender she caught Prater kissing a female co-worker in a closet last August. And after reporting him to Human Resources, he moved her to a different shift. Left without transportation to work, the woman says she was forced to quit and is now pursuing legal action. Records show the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission issued her a right to sue letter April 29th. A third housekeeper told the defender she was sexually harassed by Prater for years, but never brought the allegations forward out of fear of retaliation. For them to continue to let him work there, they knew he was doing things inappropriately. After Prater did not respond to our request for an interview, we caught up to him in a gas station parking lot down the street from district headquarters and asked him about Linda Puckett's complaint. Predatory behavior? Wow, no comment. Wow, what does that mean? No comment. Maybe one time if you get too fresh with somebody, okay, shame on you. But now it's shame on the district because it, he's a repeat offender. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Prater's new position pays him about $5 less an hour than he made before. That decrease in pay, however, is partially offset by a stipend, according to district records.